All right, so right now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to stock your items at Walmart, right? So when you grab your package, each package has one of those on there. That's if the label is done right. All right, you see that A15-6. A15, that's the aisle that you're on, right? I'll try to zoom in. A15, right? That's the aisle I'm on. All right. Now I need to find that dash six, which is gonna be the actual rack section, right? So each rack has a number at the top, all right? Six, all right? Now I need to find the actual item. So you can do one or two things. The description at the top, GV, J-U-M, W-T-E, cupcake liner you can either use that and go through each one of these stickers and match the actual description or you can also use the UPC which is right there you see that number sometimes it's either the last four or within the last five so you're looking for either nine nine eight eight nine or either one nine eight eight then you can find that number on each one of these stickers on the bottom right hand side in black but white letters all right where the 4827 is all right all right so it, all right so it took me a minute to find it but just so you can see what i'm referring to the description at the top gv j-u-m-w-t-e cupcake liner once you find it match the description just like that and you see that bottom that number in the bottom right 9889 on the package is 9889 the last four you see right there where it says UPC all right sometimes it's different on this sticker sometimes it's not the last four but the last five without the last number, if you get what I'm saying. All right. All right, so another rule of thumb. All right, on this package, it'll tell you how many is in there, right? You look down at the bottom right as well, pack 12, okay? Sometimes you have to gauge and figure out how many items you need to actually go in the cupboard where the item goes, all right? Sometimes it has extra, sometimes it may have too many, sometimes it all won't fit. So if you open up a box, right, and all of it won't fit, if you have room, it needs to go in the overstock. Not overstock, the overhead, right? That's only if you have room. If you don't, then you pretty much just open that box for no reason, right? And you have to put everything back in it and put it in the overstock pallet which goes back into the back room until you actually have room to put that item out
found one for you guys um, so you can see exactly what I was referring to, right? So GB baking soda. The UPC down at the bottom right is 0889 on the tag. But on the sticker on the actual box, you see 08890. Sometimes <clears throat> the number is not always zero. For some of you guys that might say, oh, that's zero, so you automatically take it off. Sometimes that last number could be seven, eight, three, whatever. Sometimes the first four numbers before that last one is the number that's actually on the sticker. Um, if you don't have, if all items can't go on the actual position on the rack, then you'll have to take the rest and either put it in the overhead or either take that entire box of items, the entire box, and put it in overstock, right? The reason why I'm saying that is because if you look on these stickers, right? Now, if on top of the barcode, it'll say FAC, which is space, that means one row, right? Cap, that lets you know exactly the max of how many items can go in this section, right? Sometimes, depending on the space on the top, some people like to put extra on the top and all that stuff like that. That way they can squeeze the entire box in here. Sometimes you can't, right? So sometimes you have to be smart whether or not you choose to open up your box to try and put all that stuff in there. Sometimes it's not gonna fit. Sometimes you won't have space in the overhead. So you'll have to end up packing the box again, taping it, making sure that the box closes and put it on the pallet to go to over side. Perfect example. I decided to start another row at the top so I could try and fit as many boxes as I could. All right. So I have two items left in this box. And I can't put another one here, otherwise it overhangs. Right. So I have to take the other two, the remaining two, and put it up here at the top. But you always make sure that the barcode on the item is facing outward. Right. Now, if you don't have any room up top, then you pretty much shit out of luck. You have to rebox the entire item, and take it and put it on the pallet. All right. Always make sure that the barcode is facing out. That way, if anyone comes along later on and decides to check and see what's over on the top, they can pull down and put it on the actual rack. They, they can easily scan the barcode and that lets them know exactly the position that the item goes to.